Fanatics, Keith with Rising Phoenix Bronco here, and it's a big day. It is paint day. Yes, the Bronco has been trapped in my lovely little makeshift spray booth for almost, oh well, almost two weeks now. And I've had to rebuild it once because a windstorm came and blew it apart. Uh, and probably would happen again tonight, but I'm going to paint. Uh, so, uh, got the coats of primer on, ended up with some orange peel, probably because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. So I uh, had to uh, sand all that out, uh, which is always hard when you are sanding and removing uh, stuff that you just sprayed on. Uh, so the last thing we have to do, of course, is wipe it down with the surface prep. Uh, uh, Eastwood sells a pre. This is what my local uh, Space Age paints uh, recommended. And then, of course, got the, uh, the tech cloth. So we're going to do that, but uh, plan for the day. Uh, I got a tiny booth here, so I'm going to set the camera up. I have no idea what kind of footage we're going to get of applying the color. Also finished the engine bay. Uh, it came out quite nice, uh, and you know, just uh, it's a little dirty, so you'll have to forgive me if it's not exactly a uh, mirror finish. But you know, uh, that's pretty good in my eyes. And yes, there are a few runs and drips here and there, and I'm not going to point them out to you. Uh, and if you see me in person at one of the car shows, don't point them out to me either. I know they're there, and you know what? It's good enough. I, I'm not going concourse, and I did it myself, and it turned out better than I thought it would turn out. Uh, one of the things I'm particularly proud of is I sanded down this channel. I built it up with Bondo and then used a dowel and sanded it down so that the water beads away from the seam that's right here because inside this cowl is where, uh, inside here, is where I found a ton of rust. Uh, well, a ton, a ton for this truck. So uh, maybe uh, this angle over here will give you a better view of how that little curve turned out, or maybe right here. Uh, so the water's gonna wick away from the seam.